but everybody's going to get set back up about two minutes or so down here in this box is where we're going to stick as they're going to reset the positioning. And Thomas Nunez at a Seton Hall is going to make his way over towards the flag. Everybody will basically just flip spots. It was on that left side of the box. Now they're going to move over towards the near side on the far right. As Nunez in his college career, no goals, no assists. Been a great forward, just has not been able to get those points needed. Now one in, shot, and another whistle blows. And then now they're going to say it's offside. So a lot of whistles being blown there in that three-piece set of two free kicks and a corner kick. So Hart's going to have a goal kick and just elects to go short with it. As some of these players on this team are teammates, Matias Molina out of Seton Hall, Thomas Nunez out of Seton Hall. Molina, as I had talked about before, only in that one game did allow a goal, though, and a save. As now ball set up, and a beautiful looking play by Puentes just gets picked off. Does end up back in Morris Elite's hands. And then now up ahead. Perestrello up ahead, finds a cutter, and then a body falls. Andrew Wiener was the one out there. Zenden Hart just had to run over and make a play. But Zenden Hart kind of evades disaster there. It's a good heads up play by FA Euro New York's defenders. And also just a ball a little too far out of the reach of Andrew Wiener. He's got eight goals and five assists in his college career. Could have added a goal himself there. Get out of Albany. That's now Patterson. Pushes up a set. Now into the sword corner. Nunez crosses one over and trying to bicycle kick over in the middle as it still ends up with Morris Elite. Kanika sets one up ahead. Now they look to go back and Riley will collect and then just go short once again. Morris Elite coming off a 1-11 season. Or one and thirteen season, losing eleven straight. Started off the season with that one and two mark, and just lost it from there. They lost their first game of the season four to one. But when I was caught talking to head coach Donato, talked a lot about how it was the tale of two different halves. It was a one-one game statistically in that second half, but a four-zero or a three-zero game in that first half. As now moving into the corner, ball set up ahead. Riley knocks it down, and Nunez is the one who picks it up. Kanika trying to set up. Now ranging it down. Puentes ranges over. He's got a play on it. Puentes moves around. He's got an open net. Puentes just walks it in, and we've got a goal. Morris Elite. Augustine Puentes has four goals and two assists in his career. If you want to count this one, make it five. Zenden Hart came all the way out of the net and basically just had to walk it in a beautiful play here. 13 minutes through, Augustine Puentes notches number one. Beautiful string of events there. Now we've got a 1-0 game. Thanks to Augustine Puentes. Just outrunning his defender and then sticking one into the back of the net. It was Perestrello earlier in game one and around the 80 minute mark who had the first goal of the season. Now first goal of the game gets credited to Puentes. We've also got Sean Riley, head coach of Manhattanville, playing as well. Oldest member on the team. Jeremy Peterson, as I had talked about before, on the St. Martin national team, out of Ryder. Got the teammates, Nunez and Molina. Ethan Streeter as well. Haven't really seen him touch the ball a whole lot. As now ranging over once again, Puentes gets a foot on it and then now looks over to the far side. Now up with it, Streeter right on cue, collects Kanika with it. Kanika, a couple moves. Looking to cross it and then just goes back with it. 15 minutes through, we have a goal. Puentes the one with it. Peterson now. 
And then now back with it once again. Perestrello, the one who went down, grabbing at his knee earlier. The one who took a fall, so that's something to look at. Perestrello had went down holding at his knee. Not sure if it was just a bruise or if he fell down weird, but was definitely grimacing in pain. Looks okay now. As Moran gives it over and Molina. Usually we see Velasquez in net. It is Molina. Matias Molina at Seton Hall. One goal and save in his opportunities over with Seton Hall's teammate Nunez there too and 15-58 through. Boris Elite doing a good job of just playing keep away. Just can't infiltrate inside of center field. As Riley moving it back and now they go to Molina. Molina sets one up. Now headed over. Zinzin Hart all the way out and then up ahead. Coming up on it, Puentes. Once again, Puentes getting involved. Now Peterson trying to range down a cutter and offsides by about a half a mile. FA Euro New York charged with an offsides here with 16.32 left to go. Marconi the one charged with the offsides. Not sure if it would have led to something, but definitely a scoring opportunity. We haven't seen a scoring opportunity come here. 16.46 through for FA Euro New York. They came in at six and five and one last season. So a couple of spots above Morris Elite. Morris Elite still does lead in this one, 1-0, one as now Hart collects on a ball up ahead and just kicks it out of bounds. We're seeing it time and time again with FA Euro New York, 17 minutes through, Zenden Hart comes very far outside of the box. And now he sets one up towards the middle, Riley gets a foot on it and Puentes, and now Per Estrella comes up with it as well. Now Per Estrella back with it and they'll just play keep away. Just kind of control the ball for a little bit while everybody stands around. Tapa Skovic was the one who was right there and really didn't do anything. Now Wilson, the one who was in front of it as well. Is now up ahead with it. It's also a great time, 17, 51 minutes through. 1-0 left to go to let you know that the Morris Elite Cup is back for 2023 and registration does end on June 5th with games kicking off on June 24th. You can register today. It's almost all just between U8 and U18, boys and girls. They all battle for the Morris Elite Cup as a body falls. Ramirez, the one who got a little handsy, it seems like, with FA Euro New York, and he is slow and not getting up. On the other side, we got Tupskovich with it on the far side. Streeter gets involved with the play as well. Now he gets a foot on it and then sends it back. Riley just ends up kicking it away just towards the top of the fence. Ramirez seems okay, but he's hobbling. And now a ball sent all the way in. On the far side. Now moving over, a turnover, and here comes Morris Elite. They've already got one goal. Other than that, the majority has happened inside of middle field. No one really has had that many good opportunities besides Morris Lee and their huge play. Sinton Hart does come out of net a lot as now trying to track down a runner. It's Schreeder. Schreeder pushes up to Kanika just a little too far out of his reach and now trying to get involved again. Riley now with it and just sends it back. Coach Donato had told me at the practices he loves the way that this team plays, the aggression as well, and their heart too. Something that he touched on in an emphasis point throughout the practices. A lot of heart from this team. He loves the way that they play. Also, you showed specifically with the halftime speeches what he was able to do at halftime. Team that had 46% time of possession. They bumped it up to 53 and then shot percentage wise and just shot in general wise three goals from the boys or three shots excuse me from the boys in the first half nine in the second half 
Huge reason as to why they were able to get that first goal coming from Perestrello. Just it feels like the damage was already done in that first half. Coach Donato had talked about it. That's not our style of play. That's not how we play. And they turned it around in that second half and they've got off to a quick start in this one. 20 minutes and 30 seconds through a 1-0 game. Spent a lot of time in Molina's hands. Has played as the point guard, as Riley. Now back to Molina. Molina's got to go somewhere with it. Here in New York doing a good job of pressing as Kanika can't collect it. And now over, Strong and just sends it back. And Hart, outside the box. Even the way he stands as well. He stands at the top of the box regardless of really where he is. Has Topaskovic with it and just sends it back. Now a little bit of a wonky pass there still ends up in the hands of Salmon's hands. Now Kirosi. Punches one over. Topaskovic, the one with it, and they just send it back to Molina. So Molina's had a lot of touches 20 minutes through as a header up ahead. Now Ramirez trying to track it down. Moves over towards the corner. And somewhere to go, takes a fall, whistles blow. Ramirez once again down. Holding that left leg. Pettinaroli the one who hit him down. Puentes the one who comes over to help him up. Kind of looks like he kind of shoved him in the back a little bit. The rain has stopped. We saw it in the academy game earlier. There was a lot of rain. Led partially into the girls game and then now has completely died down. With no rain up ahead on the forecast. Has Kanika up ahead. And a ball that just ends up getting turned over. So it'll be Euro New York's possession at least for the remainder of the next couple of seconds. As once again Ramirez goes down now holding that leg. He planted and then took a, a little bit of a fall. Regardless on the other end of the Side Peterson gets charged with a foul. They're gonna go take a look at Ramirez. Regardless, when he took that step, he just immediately fell. And when you think about that, you start to get to the non-contact injury. Points as he is down. Ramirez who came in with two goals and six assists. Regardless, as the trainers are going to look at him, we're going to take a quick step off as they look at that right leg here with more Sussex Sports. I'm Nick Carlson. We'll see you in about 30 seconds or so. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's a clean friend. Back here with more Sussex Sports. Here at Frederick Douglass Field, campus of Rutgers Newark in 23.50 through. Ramirez just walked out with the help of some of his teammates. Took a little bit of an awkward plant. Pushed down with that left leg and then just immediately just flew over. And when stuff like that happens, you usually tend to think the worst. Gotta hope that Ramirez is okay, is now a header up through. Still in possession, Fay with it. And then now on the side, bodies fall, is immediately a whistle. Moran looked like he kind of kicked the legs out of Topaskovic. As we have a sub coming in. It's going to be Justin Pierre that's going to come in for Ramirez. So they finally get their sub in. No longer a man down. They were really only a man down for about 45 seconds or so. As now that ball set in inside the box. Riley heads it up. And then now on the far side. Just at about the 25 minute mark with 20 left to go. Ramirez the first... Subbed out, looking at that right leg still. Pierre comes in for him. 
but the Morris Elite still have business to take care of. Only up one. 1-0 one game. So now Euro New York sets one in and then all the way over. And then back. The majority of everything that has happened as the whistles blow, once again, Streeter hits the deck. Now rolling over. It was actually Nunez who it was who hit the deck. Went down, not sure if he was bumped in the head or not, but definitely took a lot of contact up above. You look at last season, this Morris Elite team, one in 13 with a negative 37 plus minus point differential. Trying to rewrite the ship. Had a 4-1 game, now up in this one, looking for their first win of the season. Fayura, New York, on the other hand, had a one plus minus. Definitely something to look at as Peterson ranging down a loose ball and now sets it up. Pierre gets his first touch after coming in for Ramirez, but a ball that just flutters out of bounds. Salmon off the throw and gets it in for Faye. Almost falls over now, here comes Faye. Faye getting past Peterson, puts one over, just goes off of Peterson. And then now kicked away, still inside the box. Marconi up ahead. Now Kanika, and then a ball that ends up just getting pushed all the way down the line. Hart basically halfway almost to the line. Seems like he loves to play out there. Meanwhile, if you look over at Molina, the majority of the time that he spends it's inside the box. As now we have a body down again and getting up slowly now down on one knee. Just trying to get a visual of exactly who it is. It's Thomas Nunez. As Streeter gets a hand on it. And now Fadash is down. Now ball sent in, Fadash ranging over once again, and a bicycle kick backwards. Now over to the other side, Wiener was the one who was nearest. Now on the near. Hey, Moving hey. closer and setting back, and F.A. Euro New York's just gonna try to set as Peterson gets involved. Now Pierre with it, Pierre gets it up ahead, and now here comes Morris Elite. Over at the middle, looking for somewhere to go. And then just sets it back towards his defense. They might have had an opportunity there. Had nowhere to really go with it, did Andrew Wiener. Eight goals and five assists. Has shown the ability to score his college career. Trying to recreate that here for the Morris Elite as now a whistle blows. And we might potentially have another player down. Except this time for FA, New FA Euro New York. It's Francesco Carosi. I didn't see it from up here, but they're holding that right leg. Not sure if it was the same thing as Ramirez, but trainers come out to hold that right leg, and we're 28.50 through. And we're going to take a quick step off so the trainers can look at him, but two injuries so far, 29 minutes through. Nick Carlton here with more Sussex Sports. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Back here for more Sussex Sports. 29-36 through. Carosi did come off under his own power. On the other hand, Jason Ramirez, it looked as he did not come off under his own power. We were hearing through the microphones. It might have just been cramps. He just needed water. So definitely a good sign for FA Euro New York. As well as Carosi. But 30 minutes through, 15 minutes left to go. And a ball up ahead. 
Perestrello ended up turning it over, so. Here comes Euro New York. Perugio sets one up. Everybody ranging over. Molina just outside. Now inside the box. Has seen a lot of time with the ball near his hand. Morris Elite to this first 30. Has spent a lot of time playing it back and being in the defensive zone, but not a single real good opportunity. Has now Riley puts one up. He's got Kanika ranging over. Hart, regardless, is right there and just pushes it out. So Hart doing a good job of taking away the long ball. We've seen it with this team, especially Ramirez and now Kanika, just getting behind the defense. We saw it earlier with Puentes. Perestrello as well is now a crosser over just a little too far out of reach. And Faye now on the near side. Now Marconi in those neon green sneakers. Gives it up, Peterson heads it off and out of bounds, so a throw in coming. Under 14 left to go. Carosi is back in and seems okay so far in this one. Seemed like it was just cramps or whatever the case may be as Wiener almost got a hand on it and then now up ahead. Baruzio punts one up. Now a ball fluttering in the air. Salmon gets a hand on it. Pierre as well, but ball that just rolls out of bounds. A throw in coming, 31, 56 played through. Manhattan who sits at the top of this division here in the Metropolitan, 12 and two in the Rough Riders as well, 11 and two and one. Have a very good girls team as well, eight, three and one for the girls, 11 and two and one. For the boys, the Hudson Valley Hammers as well, 8-5-1. So that's your top three teams. And comparatively to the girls, a lot more all over the place. Girls all just have people at the top. Has a free kick. Just about on the way. Marconi looks to be the one set and ready to go. He's got a wall in front of him. Peterson just holding his hand over his face. And Marconi lines up. Everybody else set and ready to go. And the free kick punched over. And just right towards Molina. Just made the catch. There was definitely Euro New York closing in. Baruzio was the one closest there. If Molina had bobbled that one more time, that could have gotten out of control for Morris Elite and Molina. But we stick where we are. And... Defensive zone right here for Morris Elite. Now ball just punched back for Molina. Molina winds up and just fires towards the line. Peterson on the receipt of the pass and just takes off with it. Peterson using the speed. Now looks over for Kanika and Kanika just not even ready for it. Making his way all the way over to Hart. And he just buries one all the way past him. He got out of Villanova. Doesn't have any points to his name. Does have three shots though in his time with Villanova. As now ball set up ahead, gets over a lot, and Molina comes out. Regardless, it might have been an offsides. No signal on if it would or not, but Marconi definitely a couple steps either ahead or just on track with the nearest defenders. 34-10 left to go. As Riley pushes one up ahead, Kanika collects it and lost it for a sec. Now running down the line, and now here comes F.A. Euro New York. Up ahead, now Faye cutting just a little too far. Peterson trying to range it down. Faye gets involved and pulls him down, and Peterson hits the deck. Faye helps him up. Didn't really mean to do what it looked like, but definitely kind of threw him down with some force. 34, 44 left to go. We're 34, 44 played through. And besides that Morris Elite goal, we really haven't seen a lot from both of these teams. A 
Orsalid has spent a lot of time defending it around that second half. And that second zone right around at where the circle ends. And really after that layup from Fuentes, there really hasn't been a lot for Morris Lee. They've spent a good amount of time playing keep away, but the offensive opportunities have really been more towards is now over up ahead, an opportunity here. Puentes back with it, already has a goal. Now finds a cutter and just not in control with it was Wiener, not really ready for it as Faye on a receipt of the pass still ends up with Morris Elite. Now Nunez up to Perestrello and back the other direction. Morris Elite finally really felt like they had all offense ready to rock there. As Nunez gives it back, and now over to the other side, Moran couldn't collect it in a ball that goes out of bounds. Faye off the throw in, and Morris Elite in one of their prime opportunities besides the goal score, really one of the best chances they've really had up there. 36-28 played. Wilson gets a touch, haven't called his name a lot as now Riley bumps, now gets it over. Streeter with it, looks over towards the side and Molina just punches one all the way back. 36-50 played, a 1-0 game. And then now just a ball, punted up. We've seen a lot of just punting in the air, getting it towards the box as the body falls. Marconi takes a fall. Nunez was the one around there. Not sure if that was an acting job or if it actually was what happened, but that seemed like that had a lot more emphasis in the arms, did Marconi. So now they've got a wall in front of him. Marconi's an opportunity to either tie it or put him in an opportunity here to at least get his teammates with the goal. And at least on the field, Marconi, one of the two with the neon green. Shane Strong in the one behind him as well with the neon green, but he's got a wall in front of him. And an opportunity here for him. Referees talking now is a little bit of confusion, but now Marconi gets set back up again. And here comes Marconi. Fires a shot at the top and just goes over. Molina just stuck up a hand. I don't think it would have really had an opportunity. Molina had his whole arm up there. It goes over the net, so Molina is going to have a goal kick coming. A good opportunity there from FA Euro New York. Morris Elite still just trying to add on. Have played a lot more defense than they have offense as Riley punts one all the way up. Wiener waiting. And then now over. Ball it still ends up in New York's hands. Marconi punches one up ahead. And then now a crosser on the short side of the box up and over the net. And Molina just watches the rainbow go over. 38-55 in that 1-0 game. So a goal kick coming for Molina. Telling everybody just to go up forward. They've been playing a lot of that short ball. Interesting to see that Molina's gonna tell everyone to go up. It's been a lot of short passes here and there. As now Peterson collects and just sends it back to Molina. So almost about five minutes left to go in this half. It's been a lot of small ball for Morris Elite. A lot of just small passing, trying to set something up as Kanika and Wiener just couldn't match up there. And now over towards the side. Riley punches one over. A little bit of a weird play there. Now back up. Kanika ranging over to track it down. Puentes there too, and a ball that just gets back to Hart. Puentes now running over, and Hart just ends up booting it away as the header 
Still ends up over. Riley takes a fall. Now over to Nunez. Nunez got a little bit in front of one. Is now up to Faye. Faye running over and offsides called. Peterson not ready for it. Now talking over. Faye had a couple steps on him. Regardless, we're under five here, 1 0. Morsali, as I had said before, that negative 37 goal differential, FA Euro, New York, with only one. So if FA Euro, New York, if the stats tell you what they tell you, it means that they win games by one or win or lose games by one. So definitely two different teams, though. Lost a lot of guys and gained some as well as Peterson on the far side, ranging down a ball. Looks to get rid of it. And just fires one out of bounds. So it'll be a goal kick coming. Ball that had went off of New York in this 1-0 game. Haven't really seen much of Wiener and Kanika. Pierre's had to come in for the injured Ramirez. When we get an injury update on him, we'll let you know, but he looked as if he had went down in a non-contact related injury, if you're just joining us now. Had hit his leg and was holding it and then got up, and after that, planted his foot kind of weird and Fell down from there, walked off with the help of some others as whistles blow and Perestrello. A foul against him as a free kick coming. Just a little too fast there, FA Euro New York was. So Carorsi is going to set one back up again just outside the box. Wilson now sets one in and Molina, a beautiful bounce off of his glove and ends up being a save. 42-18 through. And Morris Elite's going to build something to potentially go in and extend this lead 2-0. This is where it would be. Molina slow to do it, now sets it up. He's got Puentes running over behind him. Now Kanika with it, plays it off his chest. And then now just set up again for FA Euro New York. Kanika on the run, ranging over. Now sets up Puentes, Puentes. Gives it over, now makes a couple moves. Wiener with it, fires a shot hard, pushes it to the side. And a ball that ranges out of bounds, a laser beam from Wiener. Hart with a great save and a throw-in coming here with under two left to go in the first half. Throw-in coming. Now Wiener collects it. Now looking for somewhere to go, fires it. Back towards the near side and Peterson collects it now. Moving quickly, gets around a couple and takes a fall now holding his leg in some serious pain. Not sure if he just got kicked in the leg but Peterson down and bad, the trainers are gonna come over. Definitely looks like he got kicked in that ankle. If anything, with 43, 48 left to go, there's anything of extra time, it's going to be needed. But regardless, we're going to have to take a step off. Jeremy Peterson down and not looking good. I've been at Carlson here with more Sussex Sports. We'll see you in about 30 seconds or so. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS.
Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. Back here with more Sussex Sports, Nick Carlson. As we've hit the 45-minute mark, but for those of you just joining us now, Jeremy Peterson just took a little bit of a fall. Back to him in a second, but we have Wiener here with the free kick. Ball sent in, hard collects off the laser. So another laser from Wiener that Hart's had to collect. So with the extra time kicking off and a ball sent over towards the side and now ranging down the line, Kanika with it. Now moving in quickly, Kanika bobbling around with it and then lost it for a sec. Now a ball sent in down to the near side. And Euro New York pushes it up in Fay, but for those of you just joining us now, Ramirez, who had went down earlier, looked like a non-contact injury, still waiting for word on him. You have Jeremy Peterson as well, which just recently, within the last minute or so, looked like he got kicked in the ankle when he was rushing over to make a play. Couldn't put any pressure on his leg at all. It looked to be his left leg. Had to stop a couple of different times, just wincing in pain. Got to hope for only the best with him. Trainers have been looking at both of them, but at that 45 minute mark and a body falls, still waiting for the extra time, but it's Faye with it. Faye, up ahead, fires a shot and gets punched away. Morris Elite is a man down right now, so if they were to bring on another man, it would really only be for about a minute or so. As a corner Dio. kick coming here Dio. for Euro New York. So this will be Euro New York's second corner kick. The first one went right into Molina's hands. Actually, that was a free kick, so it's a corner. As now headed in, and another body falls. Whistles blow as they're going to say... It's against Euro New York as now Andrew Wiener gets up slow. It was actually Matt Moran out of NJIT who got up slow. Looks to be okay, but just walking with his head down. Molina's going to set it up once again. Just looking to boot it out. And then Molina puts it all the way past the center line. And then now over. Now on the break. Marconi moving up with it. Finds a cutter inside. Riley gets him to fall up. And it misses it to the right. An opportunity for Patrick Wilson. Just completely cut off the mark of Molina. A beautiful play there from both Riley and Molina. An opportunity there for Wilson. But regardless, that's going to be it for this 45 minutes in a 1-0 game. A bunch of opportunities here and there for both of these teams. Morris Leach just comes out on top with 1-0 as that ends the first half. It was Augustine Puentes, the one who had the goal. Kanika's had opportunities too, Nunez. But the big words is Jason Ramirez and Jeremy Peterson, are they both okay? They were both what looked to be pretty gruesome injuries. Both could not put any, any weight on their feet. But it's going to be Morris Elite with about 15 minutes left to go until we kick off the start of the second. A 1-0 game. Thanks to Augustine Puentes. I've been Nick Carlson right here with Morris Sussex Sports. See you in about 15 minutes or so. Immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others. And I strive to make a difference in their lives. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, 
Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. for them we're here for you get back the life you love montella inc is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in stanhope new jersey that's been around since 1984 we provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our new jersey customers whom we consider our family we don't just take out the trash montella inc is a full service waste management company servicing demolition sites construction projects factory sites shopping centers commercial businesses and homeowners call today at 973-927-2232 Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Watching your loved one play high school sports is a special time in their life you don't want to regret missing. If you're not present for these events due to drinking, misusing medication, or lost control using drugs recreationally, the team at Recovery Centers of America can help. My name is Don, and I'm a treatment advocate for RCA, and I stopped drinking 30 years ago. If I can do it, so can you. Muster up the courage and call me anytime, even in the middle of the night, at 973-722-4720 for a confidential conversation so we can get you back in the stands where you belong. Concerned family members can also call me. Again, any conversation will be absolutely discreet. I am here for you. Just pick up the phone. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WISP supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. 
up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million-dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com choosing a college is a big 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 deal but i know i started right because ccm is in the top two percent of community colleges in the nation and at county college of morris i get to choose over 100 programs whether you're just out of high school like me exploring career options like me or seeking lifelong learning like me make ccm your choice like me go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you so cold my fish froze mine's so hot my sneakers melted rooms with different temperatures that means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy at ICS we will install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room you could save money each month and the price we quote is the price you'll pay get a quote today see why we say ICS for HVAC I see why for all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the, the kind, kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support 
support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Nick Carlson back here at Frederick Douglass Field, overlooking the campus of Rutgers Newark on what was turning into an okay day. Now it's just gotten a little bit more gloomy. The clouds have rolled in. We also just looked at the weather forecast. It does look like at least some drizzles will pick up down the stretch. Anyway, a first half officially done, 45 minutes through. The only breakthrough right now was Augustine Puentes out of St. Augustine who had the goal earlier. It was basically just a walk-in goal. His Indian heart came all the way out of the net to try to make a play on it and just got right past him. And that's why we find ourselves here in a 1-0 game as Faye gets the first touch and a ball that just goes all the way out of bounds towards the red sheds where the bathrooms are. But an interesting stat to look at as Head coach Donato had told me earlier in the weekend, this first half has kind of been what has stunned the Morris Elite in their first game as Wiener just a little too far away from him, but now he recollects it. Wiener moving over. Now Morris Elite gets their first offensive possession. Kanika tries to set one back up for him. Now fired again. Opportunity just gets pushed out towards out of bounds. Hart had went out to save it and... It looked to be Tupaskovich. If he didn't get a foot on it, that ball might have been in the back of the net. Coach Donato had shown me that the first half and the second half, at least the highlights between the two, as a ball set up ahead of Morris Elite, minute through, play it back to Molina. 47% time per session for Morris Elite in that first game that they played, and a 53% in their opponents. And then the shots on goal, on the other hand, had flipped. It was three and then it ended up being nine. The corner kicks was two, it ended up being six. Free kicks was three, then it ended up being six. They improved on every statistical category, whether it was possession minutes, possessions won, passes completed, and so on and so forth. They turned that first half around and then made it into the second half. Coach Donato had told me that if you take away that first half completely, it was a 1-1 game. and. It ended up being a 4-1 game because of their poor first half. Only allowed no goals. So definitely better than they were in that first game where they allowed three. They allowed zero. And they also added a goal themselves. So thanks to Augustine Puentes, we've got a 1-0 game here. Two minutes through this first half. And now up ahead is a ball ranging over. A little too far past. And Molina collects and then just sends it over. 
Be interesting to see what has happened as Peterson is in the game. So you've got Jeremy Peterson who went down with that ankle problem. A scary situation there for the Morris Elite, but he looks to be okay. Still no signal of Ramirez. That was one where he looked as to have went down on a non-contact injury. Regardless if I'm not mistaken, it does look like Peterson is back out there, but here comes New York. Marconi up ahead, finds a cutter. Fadashin just off sides, and not happy is New York. Marconi had a beautiful play set up for Fadash. Regardless, Molina is going to have a goal kick here. Three minutes, three minutes, a one zero game. A lot faster of a pace here through these first couple. Morris Lee did a good job of playing keep away and a good job of controlling inside of their defensive zone. Besides that one offensive opportunity where they scored, didn't see a lot of offensive opportunities. You saw one at the end of the half. But other than that, it's been a lot of Morris Elite playing defense. As now, up ahead for New York, Riley gets a foot on it. And up ahead now, Nunez. Look at the possessions one as well. They were outscored 59 to 66 in that first half of the last game. They flipped the script and it made it a 62-53 game. So they were able to win possessions when it mattered. There was also a penalty kick in that game as well. As Faye collects now bobbles and up ahead. Now Morris Leach is looking to get it out of the zone and a bad pass up ahead. Strong and with it, now sets up for Faye. Wilson up with it, no signal yet. They wanted a whistle, and everybody else. Now outside of the box, up ahead, Kanika. Kanika moving towards the middle, sets up a cutter. He's got one over in Pierre, just a little too far out of his reach, and Hart just kicks it away. Now up ahead into the middle, and whistles blow. It's still gonna be New York's ball, but a free kick coming, and it's just put back into play. So Strong is gonna be the first one to touch it off the free kick. Him and Marconi with those neon green shoes as the ball gets stolen away in a bad pass, ends up in Faye's hands. Now he gets around Nunez, Faye moving quickly, sets one up ahead, Peterson steps in front of it, looking good with that right ankle. Couldn't put a lot of pressure on it earlier in this one. You also had Coorsi go down too, is now inside the box. Whistle blows. As a goal kick is coming, at first glance I immediately thought it was a penalty kick. Specifically with the bodies falling down to Wilson, but it just ends up being an offsides on Wilson. Wilson's had a couple of opportunities early in this one. Also look and see that Coorsi's okay. Went down with what looked to be cramps. We caught her on the mic, he just wanted some water. But his leg was bothering him. As Kanika pestering over. And now up ahead. Marconi once again with it, finds a cutter. Up ahead, he's got the shot, fires and just misses right. Had an opportunity, did Wilson. His third good opportunity. A missile that just goes right. And Molina dodges a bullet as you're in New York. They are inching closer and closer, but Morris Elite had some good opportunities too at the end of this half and then at the start of this one. But Wilson just feels like he's knocking on the door here with still 40 minutes left to play in this game. Now up ahead, Wiener takes a fall, a bunch of bodies fall and it's just going to be Morris elite ball. 6.46 left to go. It's going to be Peterson, the one to inbound. Peterson launches one up. Puntes there. And it just goes back out. So they move up about 20 feet or so just off the throw in. And Peterson's going to reset to do it again. And sets it in and just throws it out. So 
A little bit of a waste of a possession there, just moving down the line and then throwing it out of bounds. 7-16 left to go. Hart going to be the one for a goal kick, but this is also a great time to let you know that you can get your kids into the game with the Morris Elite 2023 summer camps. Whether it's soccer, swim camp, they also have a tournament camp and a goalkeeper technical camp. They all start in just a few weeks. You can register today. And you can become a part of Morris Elite with their summer camp starting June 26th. For more information, go to www.morriselite.soccer as an opportunity gets squandered over in the corner. Still with it, though, is Morris Elite. And Riley just plays it back, and it just gets punched up towards Nunez. Nunez up ahead and gets pushed very clearly over in center. Buriuzio just got his hands all over him. Puentes was the one who hit the deck. She also got a goal as well. As now on the far side of Cutter, Kanika just can't do anything with it. Streeter, the nearest one to him. Eight twenty-three through. And Faye pops one up down the line and out. So a throw in coming. Parastrello, the one who had the goal in that first game and around the 86th minute. Couldn't find Puentes there. Still in this 1-0 game is Peterson takes another fall. A dangerous looking fall as now it's FA Euro New York down. Peterson the one who was down earlier. And slowly getting up now. Fadash the one who bumped into Peterson. But Peterson just jumped right back up with Fadash. A little slow to get up now. Peterson trying to get his hand on it and hitting the deck clearly. The referee comes straight over and gives up the yellow. From up here, it almost looked like a drop kick as the trainers are going to come over to take a look. He's getting up slowly regardless, but the trainers have a long run ahead of them as a yellow card was still given over to Pierre. Trainers still trying to figure out if they should come on or not. As now it is official that the trainers are going to come look at him. So this will be our third trainer to take a look. We're going to take a quick step off. Nick Carlson here from Morris Sussex Sports. See you in about 30 or so. enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Back here for more Sussex Sports, Nick Carlson here at Frederick Douglass Field and walking off gingerly. It was Wilson who took a fall. He's walking off slowly. Wilson had two really good opportunities as a free kick is coming. We have a concussion sub. Here for Euro yep. New York. They're gonna officially say it's a concussion as they're gonna have Adam March come in for him. So March comes in to play that forward position, Wilson as I had talked about, he was inching closer and closer to netting a potential goal. But Marconi's got a free kick up ahead for him. Marconi lines up and fires. Ball inside the net, headed up and in. And then now set back up over towards center. So doing a good job of getting rid of it. Kanika up ahead, plays it off his knees a bunch of times, now being held up ahead. Puentes, slide tackle, still going, and whistles blow. Euro New York 
charged with the whistle. So we have a free kick coming right at the mark on the ref. So definitely a doable range. It looks to be as if Riley's going to be the one to kick it. You've also got Perestrello as well in front of him, and they just like to go short. Now looking over, Nunez does a couple moves, now moves over. Streeter getting involved as well. Nunez dancing around, runs into a lot of bodies over in the corner, now all the way over in the corner. And a ball set up, now headed, now to the side and saved away by Hart. A beautiful play there by Hart. Just got his hand on it. We have a corner kick coming. Nunez looks to be heading his way over there. This will be the second corner kick of the game for Morris Elite. In that first game, it had six in the second half and two in the first. So eight in total. We're only at two so far, but granted, we are 13 minutes through. Still a lot of time left to play as Nunez lines up. A lot in the box as it's fired up. Going far, headed up. Still in the box. Streeter gets involved, kicks it up. Kanika ranging through, and then now finally poked away. Peterson just sends it back to Molina, and they'll reset shop here as Molina hesitates and then now sits on it and waits for Riley. Come on, Adam. Let's go. Riley now with it. 58-40. And counting at a 1-0 game. Sides of the corners here and there, and Wilson had a good opportunity as well. Hasn't been much, but here comes now. Peterson takes a little bit of a fall. Does Peruzio, and Streeter still ends up with it. Streeter moving quickly. Hey. Catch around a couple bodies, fires a shot, and just misses left. Just at the top shelf, Hart thought that it completely missed. I don't think he realized that that ball was as close as it was. You see it on the angle of the camera, just at that top left of the goal. And now up ahead, Kanika. Plays it off his chest and then moves and fires another one just right. So they went left, now right. Both top shelf, Wilson had one as well for Euro New York. Morris Elite doing a good job of putting the pressure on Hart as Peterson's going to play one down the line. Finally kicks one away. Up for Euro New York. Puentes and whistles blow. As now Kanika with it. Whistles blow even more at center. As a whistle for Morris Elite Streeter charge. As now Kanika takes a fall. Now up ahead, Kanika. Takes the fall and the ref comes over and says, don't even try it. As Coercy was the one who got a little aggressive with him. Still 30 minutes left to play. 60-25 through in the 1-0 game. As now up ahead, Nunez. Looking for somewhere and lost it out of bounds. So it's definitely a tale of two halves is Morris Elite's trying to make the argument that that ball was off on Euro New York, so it's going to be an offensive possession here. Euro New York sets one up ahead. Riley got a foot on it, and it ends up in Molina's hands. So definitely in a possession space. It's definitely been the same as whistles blow, and Euro New York not happy with the potential call, trying to get a name. Perestrello, the one with it. And he holds up what looks to be a red card. So if there's a red card, we've got a penalty shot potentially here. I couldn't tell what the color was based off of the glare off the glass, but it looks to me that they're setting up a free kick. So I don't think it's a red. The referees talk it over. Morris Elite does too. Kanika gives the signals to everybody else. So now the man who came in, Adam March. If it stays true to him right there, 
He's going to have an opportunity here. So now March moves over and talks over to Marconi. Marconi and Salmon doing some of theirs talking. Salmon hasn't really been too involved in this one. Marconi, on the, on the other hand, has been a huge factor. He could be an even bigger one here with this free kick. A wall is being built. Got Peterson closing his eyes and putting his hand over his head. You got Riley there as well. Perestrello. As all the referees try to figure out the movement, time still ticks here, 62-50, but this is the best opportunity that your New York has had. So everybody gets set and lined up. Referee's still talking it over. Still awaiting the signal. Cesare Marconi. An opportunity right here to tie it. Refs keep the signal. Everybody still keeps moving around. Pierre moves too. Now here we go. Whistles blow Marconi. Lines up, fires, pushes one over and saved away. Molina, one off his glove and over the crossbar. Keeps this game 1-0 here we're through 63-38. Corner kick is still coming though. Sixty-three fifty-one through the corner kick set in for Faye now back. Another good opportunity, fires just up high. Molina with a huge save there. Just off his glove as whistles blow once again and it'll be a goal kick for Garland because that ball is all the way behind the fences. Almost at the 25 minute mark, 40 seconds away from it. And now over towards the center. Hart comes all the way out, and they're just going to think about playing it back to him. Wiener probably thought they were. He jumped over to potentially make the play. Is now up ahead. Balls come over. Marconi up ahead. Now he gets around. Marconi fires a shot and high, and that's been the theme of this one. Ball's just going a little too high up in the air as that ball ends up all the way in the parking lot. So for those of you that are just joining us now, we did have Augustine Puentes out of St. Augustine. Did have his first goal of the season as well as the only goal in this game. Had a lot of opportunities from Patrick Wilson. Did go down with a concussion. Adam March had just come in for him, but Marconi who had just missed a golden opportunity on a free kick about an inch or two outside the box. Great save by Matthias Molina at Seton Hall. Didn't get a lot of playing time at Seton Hall, but finds himself in the starting position and has been great so far in this one. It's also a great time to let you know that the Morris Elite Super Wide team is one of the best opportunities to go against some of the top players in the region. You can try out this summer and qualify for Nationals in Tampa as a crosser over and now over the net as Hart just decides to go short. 65, now 66 minutes played through. 1-0, Morris Elite leads. Now Marconi just had the free kick, tries to set up Fay. Riley steps in front of the passing lane and then boots one up. Now off the takeaway, Morsley doing a good job of playing keep away, but Streeter just punches one up to himself. Now tries to head and it goes out. And they're gonna say it's Euro New York's ball, so Streeter had popped it up towards him, kind of went off his foot weird, and then headed it out of bounds. So a little bit of an awkward possession there by Streeter. As now up with it. Tapaskovic. Called his name a lot in the first. Hasn't really gotten involved in the second half. The majority of the scoring opportunities, as I had talked about, had come from Wilson. As now Euro New York gets credited with the ball again, and Morris Elite is absolutely great right now. Up ahead for March. Up 
bunch of great moves from March, and now the cross drop ahead. Faye's right there, but headed away. Great defense from Morris Elite. As now Wiener tries to set one up, and now he's got a cut in Kanika. Hit him in stride, and Kanika up with it. Wiener traveling to Kanika. Does a couple moves, now runs into a lot of bodies and moves it toward Wiener. Wiener, a couple moves. Now up ahead, back towards Wiener. A lot of give and goes here as Tapakovic, or Tapaskovic ended up losing it. Kanika not ready for the ball as it all goes all the way over. Towards is now Peterson trying to get involved as well. Molina fires a ball and a whistle blows. Peterson hit the deck. You can probably hear Sean Riley on the microphones through the ambient noise as Peterson down once again. Took a little bit of a fall over Molina. Be interesting to see if they wave the trainers over. Refs come over and decide they don't need the trainers. So Jeremy Peterson gets up. Already was dealing with that leg injury. Couldn't put any pressure on it, but seems okay now. And he's coming out of the St. Mars national team, which recently called up. Fantastic on Ryder. Fantastic on Morris Elite as well. Missed a little bit of him down the back half of the first half. Good to see him back out there. And somewhat healthy. Gotta think the leg problems gotta somewhat be bothering him. Morris Elite just trying to get it somewhere in the middle. Now up ahead, Puentes. Moving quickly with it. As now Wiener able to strip it away. Now here he comes. Up ahead to Kanika at the top of the box. Kanika ranging over, cuts through a couple, has a shot and it gets punched out of bounds. A corner kick coming, Kanika. He was only just a hair faster. Could have definitely pushed one out towards there as now the trainer being called for a Euro New York player. It looks to be Karosi. He gets up and is walking gingerly. He waves off the trainer. He was the one who had went down earlier, limping with that left leg as we have some subs coming in. Andre Safino comes in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nicholas Koshenko as well as Malika. So you got three new guys coming in. Exactly 20 left to go. So if there's gonna be anything that happens if you're FA Euro New York, you're gonna need it now. As the corner set up and in, bounces off the foot weird of Moran and just goes out, so. Another corner kick, not really able to do much. Did Euro, or excuse me, did Morris Elite. Euro New York really hasn't had any corner kicks at all. Has now on the far side a ball. Set up ahead, Faye's got it and running with it on the far side. Now he takes a fall, Peterson gets involved as well. Peterson looking for somewhere to go. Runs into a lot of problems and Nunez punches it out. Rolls down the line, you gotta think that that ball was able to get taken. You had Wiener and you had Kanika stretching down the line of what could have been a 3v2. As that ball off the shoulder of March could have been potentially a handball, definitely hit his shoulder into his arm. As now moving up with it. Malika tried to set one up, but just a little too far out of the hand of March. And Whistles blow. A potential another sub is coming in. Baltasar Chavez is who he's going to be coming in for. Fadash comes out as well. As Malika goes to give his necklace over to coach. Under 29 left to go. And a ball set up for Kanika. He played it off his arm, and they're going to say it's a handball on Kanika. Definitely rolled down his arm. 
Now you give the ball over to Euro New York. Euro New York doing a good job of playing keep away from the Morris Elite. They did a lot better in this first half. A lot of turnovers as whistle blows, a free kick coming. From just around the spot of the referee. Definitely a different half as Morris Elite. A lot of defense, a lot of keep away. He had that one offensive opportunity to make it 1-0, but feels like there's a lot more aggression. That gas pedal is on the floor, but the free kick sent up, ranging to the right and out of bounds. So Molina doesn't have to do any work there as that ball goes very deep into the fences and now brought out. Seventeen minutes still left to go. Just go down some of the list of some of these guys. Henrique Perestrello, eight goals and seventeen assists. Matt Moran, a goal and an assist as well. These are just in their college careers, but still, Jason Ramirez. Haven't heard word about him, but two goals and six assists. Wiener with a goal, or eight goals and five assists as well. Then you've got Sean Riley. Not only has he played, played for FC Motown, now plays for the Morris Elite, but is also technically a coach on the Morris Elite too. So a coach and a player, as well as head coach of Manhattanville. As now here comes a crosser set up ahead. Faye collects it and finally pushed back out. Elite doing a good job of manning inside the box. And now pushed over towards the side. Strongen in the corner. Now fires another crosser. Riley puts it away. And then now up ahead. Wiener going to collect it. And they just send it back to Hart. Wiener comes all the way out to try to put some pressure on Hart. But it'll be 74, 25 left to go. About at that 15 minute mark. up ahead, Streeter. Now one cut out strong and with it, makes a couple moves, gets around and now sets it back up. Chavez looking for an opportunity here. Fires one up, Faye's got it on his foot, now up ahead and Molina jumps on it. No one in the vicinity. Toprskovic looked like he was out there. Just didn't know to run for it. So Molina sitting on it, looking for a goal kick, trying to take his time. Now officially under 15 left to go. Euro New York, that light at the end of the tunnel. Starting to close down for them. Now pushed out to center. Faye knocks down Puentes. No whistle blown. Moran lost it. And then now here comes the Euro New York. Over towards the far side. Now they're finally back to full strength. 4v4 sets one up and Molina makes the snag in the air. They had an opportunity. Did Euro New York. Had a 4v3. Everyone finally got back in a 4v4 but the cross are just right in the hands of Molina. So 75-45. Euro New York just looking for those opportunities. Morris Lilly doing their best to limit them. Molina punches one up ahead for Peterson. Peterson's got no one in the vicinity of him. He's taken off with it. And now over to the side, Puentes with it. Puentes will slow it down and it seems like Morris Elite definitely playing the slower game here. Moran pushes one up now and Peterson back with it. It's now Pierre with it. Pierre up to Peterson. And now finds a cut and Wiener just out of his reach and it's gonna be Hart that bounces on top of it. Yeah. A bunch of saves Hart's had to make the majority of them. He's come out of the box to save them as now whistles blow. Little handsy Nunez got there. Tangled with Perugio. As now we have our final sub come in. Four Euro New York, so Carlisle Smart 
rounds out all the subs, so. Euro New York has gone through all of them, have no one else to bring in. Trying to hope for what could be this last push, 13 minutes left to go and under a 1-0 game. Hart, that first goal allowed. A wide open net came all the way out and dove for it. Just couldn't snag it and Augustine Puentes just kind of dribbled around and basically just walked it right in. Also at the same time, Morris Elite Cup is back for 2023 and registration does end on June 5th. Games kick off on June 24th. You can register today as the ball set up inside the box. Still in, Faye puts it up and now headed still in the box. A lot of headers and now Faye collects before Riley just sets it away. Now here comes Kanika, ranging with a full head of speed. Kanika up ahead, looking towards Wiener. Now sets it that way, a little bit behind him and just ends up for a year out of New York. Now Kanika, the slide tackle, runs into the feet of him. And now Streeter. Up ahead. Kanika back over to Nunez and Kanika takes a fall holding his right leg. Looks like he got kicked, actually it was the left. Looks like he got kicked in the left. Not wincing in pain or anything. 78-51 throw. Kanika just slowly getting up. Needing a breather or so. Kanika out of Villanova. His first season with the Morris Elite. And Riley's going to be the one to kick it. Sets it all the way over. Pierre moving quickly with it. Now with the right, now with the left. Getting tracked down from behind. A whistle's blow. Pulled the jersey. So a kick coming from inside the box. At 79.30, and about at that 10 minute mark, you gotta think you're in New York gonna start to put the pressure on. Nika who's played the majority of this game, basically the full game, as well as Nunez, as well as so many of these guys, Puentes, Peterson, Moran, Riley as well as bodies fall. We're at that 10 minute mark, so under 10 left to go. Streeter two, Wiener. Besides Justin Pierre, Morris Elite has not used a lot of the reserves. Is headed up towards the box and pushed out. An opportunity there. It's gonna be Morris Elite ball, but a dangerous chance there. As you're in New York, put their hands on their head knowing that that was a good opportunity. <laughs> 80-35 played through. That's now still inside the box, no whistle blows. Your New York wanted something. Now for Kanika, just too short. Kanika's gotta step in front of it and he does. Kind of bobbles the play a little bit. Now Kanika forces him to fall. Pettinarolia. As Kanika gets involved with another one. Now it's up with it, Chavez. And ended up losing it. Is now on the far side. Wiener trying to make a mark. And it just goes over to Hart. Hart pushes it back out. And under nine left to go. If you stuck with us for both the girls game and this game. As Faye, he's got a shot in front of him, pushes it up and over, and it gets over Molina. Faye, an opportunity, turns into a goal. And if it sticks, we've got a 1-1 game. Able Faye, Molina had to come out and he just punched it right over him. No signal yet from the ref, but it's gonna stick, so it's a goal. So we got a 1-1 game 
here with eight left to go. So it's just got a little interesting here for Morris Elite. So Nunez went down, so we're at the center. So Nunez pops one back up and just kind of off on the mark a little too early. 82-25 played through. Both these teams are running out of time. Eighty-two thirty-five played through. Just looking for a signal from the referee to get this one going as Nunez comes over to the ball. The free kick is supposed to be at center line. And finally underway. So Pierre on the far side. And then now back to Peterson. Pierre done a good job in relief of Ramirez. Ramirez who went down with that non-contact injury. Now Morris Elite playing a little bit more passive. It was a lot more aggression. Then that goal happened and it's kind of just went down from pedal to the metal to going at more of a 30 mile per hour pace. As now here comes Euro New York. Pushing back towards the box. Molina collects it. And then now boots it. Pierre ranging over off the header. And then now set back up once again. Peterson plays it off. Looks back towards Molina. Doesn't go that way. Now runs into problems over in the corner. And they're going to say it's a corner kick potentially coming from Euro New York. And they will. So... Under six left to go, and Euro New York has a golden opportunity here. They just scored the tying goal, can potentially take the lead, and they just go the safe route playing short. Moving up with it, a shot fired, now pushed back. Just outside the box, and now here comes Morris Ali trying to do something with it. Wiener takes a step around a couple, loses it. Now Pat and Arolia. Back towards the line, Peterson plays it. He was the one who lost it earlier. He's moving back towards the corner. Now trapped in the corner, looking for somewhere to go and finally sets it out. So a throw in coming. Five ten left to go. Able Fay was the one who just scored the goal earlier. Puentes as well. As Wiener tries to get his hand on the ball, and now up to Faye. Faye, who just scored the goal earlier, looking up ahead for it, bobbling the ball as it goes. Now takes a couple of steps forward. Faye running out of a lot of room, and now sets it back, fires a shot, and it goes way over the crossbars. So now we're under five. 4.35 to be exact, and to avoid a draw, one of these teams are gonna have to find the back of the net. Molina, who's played phenomenal so far in that one, just a little bit of a problem. Went out to go get it in a bad position. Defense wasn't back as the ball set in, and Molina once again makes a great save. It's 4.05 through. It was a beautiful play, though, by Faye. Just kind of punched it right over Molina. Came all the way out to try to make it as Kanika tries to head it. Now Streeter comes up with it. Streeter doing a good job. Ball that just ends up fluttering out of bounds. They're gonna say out on Euro New York, so a throw in coming. So now a ball set in, up ahead, end up being turned over. It just goes right back to Molina. If I'm not mistaken, I did just hear on the mic nine minutes. So if that's the case, if there's gonna be an extra time, it's gonna be at around, we're gonna get two or three more minutes. So Streeter up ahead to Kanika. Now back towards, and Euro New York's got the numbers. Up ahead, but Nunez gets in front of it, now takes a little bit of contact and whistles blow, and now Nunez hits the deck. 
Now on top of the Newark logo. Riley set to kick it, but we're under three. And for what's coming from extra time, we don't know for sure, but Riley has to get this one down there. Up ahead and ranging over now. Santiago Vasquez in the game as well. It's now over in the corner. Moving around with it, gets inside. Now Kanika with it, fires a shot, bounces away, and Faye ends up coming up with it. Faye moving with a lot of pace. Up ahead. 87-47 and running out of time. A ball punched up off of Peterson's leg, and he tries to recollect. Thought about sending it far and just kind of pushes it back. Now Molina's going to have a goal kick coming as we're at the two-minute mark left to go. Both these teams running out of time. Hey. 88-10. Played through. As now moving with it. Euro New York's done a good job of setting up plays like this, but besides that one, have not been able to capitalize. As Peterson now in the receipt of the pass. Just a little too far, so a throw in coming. Euro New York threatening here is Molina's going to have to be on his A game. Faye, a bunch of moves. Now set back for Faye. In that orange cleats. He looks over towards the near side. He's got March. And now stolen away. Here comes Streeter. Streeter lines it up. Now fires one across. He's got Vasquez. And Hart comes all the way out to make the play as Pierre comes over and now push Bover. 89-04 played through. Ball set through. Up ahead. He's got an opportunity. It's sent away to the side. Still with it. Looking for somewhere to go. March misses a wide open one. Matthias Molina. Not sure if he would have been back there or not, but March just completely airmails one into the parking lot. 30 seconds left to go, and whatever extra time brings us, that might be the best opportunity for both of these teams. So now the countdown with 20 seconds. Still nodded at one, and Molina's showing really no signs of moving with a lot of pace. Finally, he does and pushes it over. Heads towards Pierre, ranging over as well, Pedernoli. And then now a throw in coming from Euro New York. So we're at 90. Whatever else it brings, we'll see from here on out. But it's Tapascovich with it, lines one up. He's got March on the side, two elects to go, and it goes off the back of Streeter. Peterson now goes over to the corner and sends it off to the side and down the line. Stays in bounds, so Vasquez comes up with it. And now push back with it. Pierre sends it back up once again, and it bounces towards the middle. He was trying to clear it. As it's going to be Streeter once again. A ball set up, and Molina comes all the way over. Whistles blow as once again Peterson is down. They're going to have the trainers come back over and look at him. This would be Peterson's third time down. Had the situation where couldn't put any effort on his leg. Now, once again. Got to hope that Peterson is okay. He's come out of Ryder. St. Martin national team has been phenomenal in his time here, not only with Morris Elite, but as well as Ryder. Something to look at is his leg as he has to be helped up now. Definitely limping now on his leg as the trainer's going to come over. It looks like they're going to take him out, so... He does look like he's taken out and walking through that line. So they're going to bring in Jordy to replace him. Got to think, actually, most definitely, Peterson's done for the day. So 
1-1 and not a lot of time left to go in this one. Molina. Looking to set up the goal kick. Everybody else lines up as well and he just ends up moving it up. Molina takes a step and fires one all the way towards the center. Now headed up and Faye with it. Playing it off his head. Now moving quickly and taking a fall. No whistle blown. Faye moves around a couple and then now looks for somewhere else to go. A ball that goes off the referee and they're going to say that's a foul on the referee. Whistle's blowing. All jokes aside, a free kick coming here. Just outside the circle. Now they move it inside the circle and get this one underway. Now a ball set in, up in the air, still up in the air. Faye just had a position, had an opportunity at it, but he moved towards the near side. Faye moving around. Just trying to get rid of it, Streeters trying to do everything he can as this ball sails toward the fence and bounces over. You gotta think for what it's worth, there's not a lot of time left as now Faye gets up slowly on the near side. He sits down, a ball sent in, now headed up in the air, still up, Puentes comes up with it. And then now with it, whistles blow. That could have been an opportunity for Euro New York. Faye has not gotten up yet from that side. You can see him on the all the way right side of your screen. As Faye is still down. And now the referees are gonna come over to him. Faye finally gets up. As this extra time period. Gotta be running out, so this is gonna have to be it for Molina at the 90 minute mark. Molina winds up and fires. It's a low one up and in, heads up. And now towards Hart, he comes out of the net and they trade back and forth as that's gonna do it. Morris Elite surrenders a goal late. Abelay Fay, the one who knocked it right over Molina. You also had Augustine Puentes as well early in this one in the first half. It's gonna be a draw regardless in a 1-1 game. Very good game for Morris Elite. Besides that last 10 minutes with that goal, dominated in time of possession and everything in between. But for Coach Donato's team, this Morris Elite team surrenders that late goal and we have a draw here. So regardless in this one, Puentes with the goal. Molina played fantastic as well. Zenden Hart, same goes out to him. But Morris Elite surrenders that late goal. And for everybody here, Morris Sussex Schwartz, as well as everyone here for Morris Elite, a 1-1 game after 90. The girls win today and the boys draw. Here for Morris Elite and Morris Sussex Sports, I've been Nick Carlson. We'll see you at the next one. moves around he's got an open net Puentes just walks it in and we've got a goal Morris Elite on the run ranging over now sets up Puentes Puentes gives it over now makes a couple moves Wiener with it fires a shot hard pushes it to the side and a ball that ranges out of bounds a laser beam from Wiener out and then Molina puts it all the way past the center line. And then now over, now on the break, Marconi moving up with it, finds a cutter inside. Riley gets him to fall up and it misses it to the right. An opportunity for Patrick Wilson. Just recollects it. Wiener moving over. Now Morris Elite gets their first offensive possession. Kanika tries to set one back up for him. Now fired again. Opportunity just gets pushed out towards out of bounds. Hart had went out to save it and as Kanika Hestering over and now up ahead Marconi once again with it finds a cutter up ahead he's got the shot fires and just misses right had an opportunity did Wilson 
His third good opportunity. Quickly, gets around a couple bodies, fires a shot and just misses left. Just at the top shelf, Hart thought that it completely missed. I don't think he realized that that ball was as close as it was. You see it on the angle of the camera. Refs keep the signal, everybody still keeps moving around. Air moves to now. Here we go. Whistles blow. Marconi lines out, fires, pushes one over, and saved away. Molina as now Wiener able to strip it away. Now here he comes up ahead to Kanika at the top of the box. Kanika raging over, cuts through a couple, has a shot, and it gets punched out of bounds. A corner kick coming. Kanika. He was only just a hair faster. If you stuck with us for both the girls game and this game. As Faye, he's got a shot in front of him, pushes it up and over, and it gets over Molina. Faye, an opportunity, and now push over. 89-04 play through. Ball set through, up ahead, he's got an opportunity, it's sent away to the side, still with it, looking for somewhere to go, March misses a wide open one. Matthias Molina, 